Welcome to this lesson on linear programming. The aim of this lesson is to introduce you to linear programming. You should be able to draw straight lines that you obtain from given inequalities or constraints. You should be able to determine a feasible region from a particular set of inequalities and also to find a maximum and a minimum from a given objective function. In level three, we are not going to deal with formulating inequalities from a given scenario, but we just graph given inequalities and also determine minimum and maximum from a given objective function. Let's get into it now. This is the example that I'm going to use uh, to explain linear programming. An apple processing company produces sparkling and sweet apple drinks. So it means there are two types of drinks that we, uh, we are going to deal with here, sparkling and sweet. The following inequalities were obtained. So what this means here is that X is representing the number of sparkling drinks and y is representing the number of apple drinks now you will see that the first two inequalities that we are given there they are always there by default in level three linear programming why because we will be dealing with number of items and you know number of items we only deal with whole numbers remember from your level two the set of whole numbers starts from zero so you are not going to have negative values for x. You are not going to have negative values for y. So by default, we will only deal with x being greater than 0 and y being greater than 0. The first two inequalities are by default. So what we are going to plot are the four inequalities. y less than or equal to 8 sorry, x less than or equal to 8, y less than or equal to 6, x plus 2y less or equal to 14, x plus y less or equal to 10. The question says graphically solve the above inequality. So that's the first question that we are going to answer. Right. Inequalities represent regions. So we cannot plot regions, but we, cannot, we can plot lines. And for lines, we will be plotting equality. Along the lines, that's where x will be equal to 0. That's where we have a y is equal to 0. Those are lines for equality. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to plot the lines first. We are going to plot the line x is equal to 0. And from our level 2, we remember that the line x, x is equal to 0 is what? It's the y-axis. And the line y is equal to 0 is right, the x-axis. Our inequalities or the default inequalities are for x greater than 0, meaning we only need positive x values. The other one is for y greater or equal to 0, meaning we only need positive values for y. We do not need quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. In those quadrants, one or both of x and y will be negative, so they will not satisfy these or both these inequalities. That is the reason why we only need to plot the y-axis and the x-axis like that. Only positive values. Right, for the purposes of this lesson, I have the privilege of knowing uh, the values of x and y that I should plot. I know I should plot y from 1 to 11 and x. I will need at least up to 15. But with other problems, I will be explaining to you how you should come up with these figures. So you should have a scale that you use. You don't just uh, 
put numbers at random along the x and y axis you should have a scale so i'll start with the how to plot the line x is equal to 8 again this one we learned how to do it in level 2 we know the line x is equal to 8 is a vertical line that cuts the x axis at 8 so we'll draw that line now this line is dividing the plane into two parts there is a part where all these values on the left of the line are less than 8 you see that the values are from 0 1 2 3 7 8 is along the line so on the left of the line they are all less than 8 on the other side of the line we have values like 8,5, 9, 10, 100. All these values are greater than 8. Now we look at our inequality from the question. The inequality says we want the region where x is less than or equal to 8. We know equalities on the line. So from the line going below all those uh, all, all that region satisfies the inequality. Similarly, the line y is equal to 6 is a horizontal line that cuts the y-axis at 6. And you see that above the line, uh, the values of y will be greater than 6. And below the line, the values of y will be less than 6. Our inequality from the problem says we need y less than 6. And y less than 6 is this region there. Please pay close attention to how we plot lines in this particular question. I have noted there that lines in this question, they have negative gradients. And also they have intercepts which are both positive. You will see that if you make y subject there, we have y is got mx plus c or m we have a negative gradient so uh, you'll see that in this case uh, your two intercepts will both be positive and the line we have a negative gradient uh, that is it will be a decreasing function right so what you simply need to do to, to draw this line is to find the intercepts. I'm emphasizing for this particular line because I think for the next lesson that I'm going to do, I will show you different equations, especially those with positive gradients like this. They will not be, or the lines cannot just be drawn by finding the two intercepts. You will need other skills to do that. So for this one, what you simply need to do is to find the intercepts. One way of doing it is to draw or to convert the equation into the uh, intercept form. That is, you divide both sides by 14 so that we have one on one side of the equal sign. We did these uh, graphs in level 2. And this graph is a, the denominator for x there is the x-intercept. The denominator for y is the y-intercept. So you have your intercepts when you write it in that form. Alternatively, you can just uh, find the x-intercepts by making y to be 0. Find the y-intercept by making x to be 0. Again, you find the y-intercept to be 7 and the x-intercept to be 14. So after finding the intercepts, you plot them. We plot the line x plus 2y is equal to 14 by joining the intercepts in a straight line. So you check your inequality or your equation. If it's in the form ax plus by is equal to constant, please make sure that the coefficient of y is positive. Um, if it's not positive, you play around with it. You can multiply it by a negative or multiply both sides by a negative. But remember, when you multiply both sides by a negative on an inequality, the inequality sign will change. But make sure that at the end, your coefficient of y is positive. And when your coefficient of y is positive, then on your graph, 
the area between the or the area below the line will be for less than the area above the line will be for greater than and i'm emphasizing it's only for when your coefficient of y is positive when it's negative you'll see that uh, these two will be interchanged below will be greater above will be less than but let's just be consistent let's play around with our inequality make y to be positive so from our inequality that we are given x plus 2y less or equal to 14 less is that space below the straight line then to draw the line x plus y is equal to 10 we consider the intercepts when x is 0 we see that y is 10 when y is 0 we see that x is 10 so we join the two points or the two intercepts y is 10 and x is 10 in a straight line then we know that this straight line is dividing the plane into two parts the part or the area below the straight line is for less than the area above it is for greater than we check our inequality it says we need uh, less than 10 so less than is below the line this is the area that is required now in an exam you will not be required to be drawing all the lines on their separate axis like we are doing you will be required to draw all the lines on the same axis like I said before, you will find out that when you started by drawing the axis, the x-axis and y-axis only, you consider all your inequalities and see which is the highest or the maximum value of y that you need for the intercepts and the maximum value for x that you need for the intercepts so that you will label your x-axis and y axis appropriately so after doing that then you draw line number one line number two line number four line number three like that then you indicate the feasible region by shading it that is the region that satisfies all the inequalities now vertices are points where two lines meet so you find maximum and minimum values at vertices so on your feasible region you should mark all the vertices that is points where two lines meet in this case I'm going to mark the point A B C D and E all these points are points where lines meet but you must see that for point A it's on the y-axis meaning we have zero for x and six for y point e it's on the x-axis meaning zero y and eight for x right so we will use these points to find the minimum and maximum for this particular problem the vertices or the coordinates of the points that we find um, are A with coordinate 0, 06, B with coordinate 26, C with coordinate 64, D with coordinate 82, and E 80. These we read off from a graph that is accurately drawn to scale on a graph paper you are not required to be calculating it because this question should be done on a graph paper and you simply read it off we, it does not carry enough maths for you to do calculations by using simultaneous equations you simply need to go to your graph and read off the values now we answer the last question which requires us to find the values of x and y which uh, maximize and minimize p so we are going to use 
those points. For point A, with 0, 6, we simply substitute where we have x, we put 0, where we have y, we put 6 into the equation like that. We get 540. For point B with 2, 6, where we have x, we put 2. Where we have y, we put 6, we get 600. We do the same for point C, we do the same for point D, we do the same for point E. Then you will see that the maximum that we get is 600. The minimum that we get is 240. So to answer the question uh, 1.2, we have to indicate that we get the maximum at point B where X is six, where X is 2 and Y is 6. We get the minimum at point E where X is 8 and Y is 0. Remember your A, B, C, D, E, you are the one who invented these points. They are not even part of the questions. So the answer that is being sought there is to show that x is 2 and y is 6 for maximum, minimum x is 8 and y is 0. They may also ask you this question differently to say what is the maximum. Then you don't have to mention the point. You just have to mention the value of the maximum, which we got to be 600. If they ask you the minimum, you mention the value that we got to be 240. So that is it for today's lesson. What I advise you to do is you can go through it again. You'll be pausing and looking at uh, how we go through the various steps. Then I'm going to give you a question from a past exam paper, which you should also go through. It's similar to this one before I meet you again for another lesson on linear programming. Enjoy your meals, stay safe, and take care. Hoping to see you soon. Bye-bye.